Hello foodies! In today's video, I will be showing you how I deep clean my Mercato Atlas 150 pasta machine. There have been some requests for me to do this. So guys, here it is. And I want to thank you very much for your requests. So, without much further ado, let's get started! To start with, my pasta machine is a manual type. It is operated by a hand crank. I use my machine frequently, so deep cleaning it from time to time, or once a week perhaps, is necessary to avoid buildup. It is very important to read and follow the user manual of your manufacturer on how to safely clean your respective pasta machines. As for mine, the instructions clearly stated to never wash the machine with water or in the dishwasher. Get your cleaning supplies. I got here a new toothbrush, some toothpicks, some soft cloth, um, microfiber cloth, and a scrap dough. This is just a piece of dough that I saved from my pasta making earlier. First thing I do is to remove this attachment from the body of the machine. By the way, this attachment was included when I purchased my machine. I have an unboxing video if you want to see. So, I remove it by sliding it upwards, like towards myself. And then you just slide it downwards to put it back. Next is to flip it over like this. And here you will see one, two, three, four steel rods, which are called comb holders. We gently remove it by pushing it sideways. Then use the end of the rod, poke it into the hole to remove the white plastic thing called anti-friction comb or simply comb. Then, let's use the brush to remove the dough residue. For the steel rod, I just wipe it with a microfiber cloth. Then, we do the same with the other three. After cleaning the combs and the rods, we clean the cutting unit with a brush. Just make sure you have checked any residue in between the cutters. Then give the cutter a good wipe. And we put back the combs and the comb holders. Time now to use our scrap dough to clean the main body. So, the first thing to do is to turn the knob into the widest setting, which is zero. 
We take the dough and run it through the roller. Do this for 4 to 5 times. And then, turn the knob to a thinner setting. I chose 2. Roll the dough again for 4 to 5 times. Repeat the process until you reach the thinnest setting, which is 9. And now, we use our brush if there is still some visible residue. And then, we give a good wipe to the exterior of our machine. As for the clamp and the crank, I just wiped it with my microfiber cloth. So there you have it! My pasta machine is all clean! I hope you have learned something from this simple tutorial of mine. And feel free to comment down below if you have any requests or questions and I will try my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and see you on the next!